everyone, welcome to another NECA figure unboxing slash review. Uh, today we have the brand new uh, McCready, or MacReady, <laughs> as I, I like to literally read that. Uh, McCready from The Thing, played by Kurt Russell. Um, this just came out, uh, I want to say, uh, maybe a week or two ago, they started hitting stores. Um, I pre-ordered mine from Target. Um, well, actually, I won't even say it was a pre-order. They uh, put these up on their website along with the new King Kongs and the new uh, Doc Brown, which I also went ahead and purchased. So stay tuned for this video. Um, that'll be the next one. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get this because the thing is obviously one of the best movies ever made. Um, and Kurt Russell, you know, is the main star. And this is a cool new figure. And I hope they do <laughs> other things from, no pun intended, other things, um, you know, particularly the monster itself. Um, maybe other characters like Keith David and, I don't know, Wilford Brimley. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a movie I don't talk about too much on this channel. Um, but it is really good. It's kind of a shame I don't. Um, but yeah, this movie is fantastic if you've never seen it. Um, now the box here is very shiny. I'm not sure if you can read. There we go. Uh, if you want to read that little description there, but we do have pictures of the figure. Now a lot of people have been saying this figure does not really look all that much like Kurt Russell, like the head sculpt. Um, so I mean I don't know. Every figure is slightly different, I guess. So you know the best judge of that would be the figure they used for the pictures. Now, if you ask me, this looks pretty much right. I mean, that looks like Kurt Russell in the movie with his amazing beard and his uh, <laughs> long hair. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. But my figure, um, I think it looks okay. Like, looking at it in person, it looks fine. Like, it could look worse, you know what I mean? Um, I would say the head sculpt that's, you know, on him right now is the best one out of the three. Um, that's probably the one I'm going to keep anyways. I'm more of a fan of having the hair out. Um, but he does come with a lot of stuff, so. But yeah, NECA, I love, I love NECA. I mean, look at this box. It's fantastic. Um, so like I said, we, I assume maybe they're going to do more. I, I doubt they would just get the license for the thing just to make one figure. You know what I mean? And also, um, I'm theorizing here. It's, uh, McCready and it says in parentheses, Outpost 31. So there could be other versions, you know, as well of, uh, McCready. Um. But yeah, the box is a little, you know, a little weird. I did store pickup. You know, I didn't want to, like, chance it and go to the store and try to find it. Because people, you know, they buy these, they, uh, what's the, the, they're scalpers. So they buy every single one and sell them. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how lucky you might be if you find this. Um, yeah, so like I said, I ordered it from Target. Did store pickup. Um, and I don't know if it's sold out or not. But uh, I would recommend you guys do the same thing. Um, it's got the classic poster here, uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, uh, that's the box. So I'm going to open this guy up and we're going to take a look at him and yeah, let's get to it. All right. And here we have McCready out of the package. And as you can see, he has a whole crap ton of accessories here. He's got a total of, let me count here, seven, nine, 10, 13 accessories. Wow. Um, so let's, uh, show these off first, I guess. Now here we have a bottle, um, you can actually, like, read, like, all the words on there. So, like, the detail is really cool. Um, I'm not sure what this is exactly. Uh, oh, it's scotch. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, the back is just green. But, yeah, that's that's really, I really like that. Um, and then we do have the glass that he spills inside the chess wizard machine, which is hilarious. You can even see some, like, ice cubes in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. I'm glad they included that. Um, now a lot of people also were like upset there's no flamethrower. Um, I'm sure, like I said, there's probably going to be another version and there's probably going to be a flamethrower. Um, but here's the, uh, shotgun. This is really cool too. Really nice, uh, color on that. I actually like that. So there's the shotgun. Not sure what kind of, you know, shotgun it is. Um, we do have a lantern, which I'm probably going to pose him with this because I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Um, I've never had a lantern before, um, like an accessory. For a figure and then we have some sunglasses there and then we have some goggles right there so that's cool and then here's the hat looking really really nice um they're like it has like a texture like it feels like a real hat um really cool and then we got two alternate heads we got a angry looking face right there and then we have kind of a surprised looking face <laughs> right there 
And then we also have some alternate hands. Now we have two alternate um, right hands and two alternate, actually no, these are all right hands. Uh, oh no, wait, this is a left hand. Um, yeah, this one's a left hand right here. So we have an open, I guess we want to hold a gun or something in that hand. And then another one that's open like that. Or a holding hand, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's the left, that's the right. And then we have two more rights. One is gloved. So it's similar to the one he has on right now, but it's like a holding, you know what I mean? Like it, this is gloved already, but this one's a little more clutch. So you like want to hold something tight um, in that hand. And then we have an alt another alternate uh, right hand without a glove. So this one's, this one's really tight. I think maybe this is for like the lantern or something, something more um, thin, I guess. So that's cool. Now the figure himself, like I said, the face, I think that looks good. I mean, I'm not the biggest criti uh, critic of these sort of things. Um, I kind of joked about how the Marty McFlies sort of look like uh, young Martin Sheen as opposed to Michael J. Fox, but, you know, um, nothing's going to be 100%. The closest to 100% you'll get is, like, Hot Toys, you know what I mean? Um, which costs hundreds of dollars. Um, but, yeah, this looks really good. Like, this outfit and everything, all the detail. You know, you can put them on a stand if you wanted to. Um, all looks really good. So yeah. Um, now I'm not going to go out go ahead and like swap out everything, but I will show you like, for example, if you were to wear the sunglasses, I don't know if these could fit on this head. I don't think they do. Um, you'd have to put them on the other head. Maybe, um, I don't want to break them. Yeah. I don't think it's meant to go on this head, but like if you were to put the sunglasses on like <laughs> this head, like you would just, you know, put it between the, uh, the head and there we go. Oh, I can't get it in there. Okay, so, yeah, looking cool. That's interesting. And then, you know, you got the bottle and stuff, and then if you want to put the hat on them. Um, again, I, th I assume the hat is meant to go on the other heads because the hair is too big. So, um, why not? Let me put it on the other head I didn't use yet. So, let's take this head and then the hat. Um, I guess something like that. I'm not sure if, like, is it meant to be... Sorry, I haven't seen the movie in a while. Let me look at the back of the box. Yeah, it, it is meant to be like this. Okay. I thought the hat was supposed to be like this. Um, so there you go. That's kind of that's funny looking. Um, and then we have the gun and the lantern. So, you know, I might have him hold the lantern or something. I might have to switch out the hand, you know, for the tight, tight grip one for him to hold. Like you see, the opening's too big. Um, but still, this is really, really cool. Like you have so many different accessories here. And I'm sure they're going to do a flame floor one. Like, they have to. I mean, come on. Like, they would, you know, if they would lease just the figure with a flamethrower and nothing else, you know what I mean? I think people would be happy. Um, yeah. Um, if they do, I will probably buy that. <laughs> um, now, in terms of articulation, you know, just standard, you know, you can do all kinds of things. The head could spin around, the arm can go in and out, bend at the elbow, the wrist can go 360, waist, you know, it's, it's typical, typical NECA, you know. Um, the feet, um, move up and down, but they don't, well, they kind of swivel a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's totally fine. So yeah, that's McCready right there. Um, not sure what final form I'm going to have them on my shelf, but we'll see. But like I said, there's a lot of things here, so it's really cool. It's really worth it. Um, I definitely recommend this figure to anybody, especially if you're a fan of the thing. Um, and good luck trying to get one. Like I said, I'm sure scalpers are making that extra difficult. I'm glad I don't collect um, TMNT stuff because, <laughs> yeah, especially that. A lot of people are crazy over that. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this. And let me know what you think of the figure. Have a good one. Bye-bye.